Ahoy there, my spacefaring pirates. So let's go ahead and check out Mars Horizon once again. We're into the third episode now. We have completed all of our research into getting onto the moon, or at least in the moon's orbit, the lunar orbit that is. It looks like the Japanese might actually beat us. They're very, very close to getting there. Um, it's all right if we come second. I'm sure there's going to be some nice little prizes and whatnot. But uh, of course, we do want to be numero uno. Let's have a look at what else we've got planned. We've got, say, two missions. So we've got the ionospheric measurements as well as a test launch. Um, they're both coming up pretty soon in one month, actually. So hopefully our launch pads aren't going to be too chockers. We do have the animal in space research happening. Um, so for the mission, and then we also need to get the Eden uh, payload. So it's going to be a little while there. It looks like the Americans are well and truly on top of that. But I think we're going to be doing quite well pretty soon. We've also got a lot of money. I think I need to work on the research a little bit. But of course, these active missions will give us some extra rewards. So once they come good, we'll be in a much better position, I think. So let's go over into the next month, which is going to be quite a busy month. UFO fever. The discovery of debris, likely belonging to a weather balloon, has sparked a wave of conspiracy theories surrounding UFOs. Several questionable magazines have approached your agency for comment. Whilst your researchers urge dismissing such stories, your PR team has noted the potential for drumming up interest in space exploration. Let's go ahead and encourage this speculation, of course. Um, I'm not going to say no to a bit of Area 51 hearsay. The agency has made the most of the speculation to promote the importance of developing human spacecraft. Many in the scientific community have voiced their disapproval at the response, yet public interest in your space program has increased. That's going to be quite important. And we also got the extra research anyway from our research lab. Um, so we've got two missions. I wonder how this is actually going to go. Um, let's go launch it, even though it's not all too probable with in terms of success, but it is a clear day, it looks like. It's a beautiful day. The contrast is almost actually a bit too much. It looks a bit too overexposed. The Cosmogonal. All right. Beautiful. Looking very, very reliable here. I do like watching the rocket launches, even though they're pretty much exactly all the same. And it looks like it, yet yeah, another success. We haven't really had too many failures though, have we? It's actually very close to being a uh, positive event for us too. So the sounding rocket's doing quite well. Um, in terms of reliability, it's getting us uh, quite a bit of uh, rewards and all that too, which is important. Um, China has only just completed the artificial satellite, which is amusing. Uh, we do have, well, we do have one mission uh, ready to launch yet again. So, so let's go do that. I do like how it's changed to night time now. So I've got the Celestial, so good conditions yet again, and 70% launch reliability. Let's go skip this. See what happens. I mean, the one that I skip is probably going to be a fail, isn't it? No? Great. Good to hear. Uh, yeah, another success. So no real worries there, and we keep on leveling up as well, which is really good. So we do have some measurements to complete. Let's hope that we do manage to get the uh, bonus as well. It seems like it's going to be pretty easy. So let's have a look. We've got two comms. Oh, although one of them is not going to come good for us. Let's go resist. There we go. And this one should be all right too. 
Beautiful. So maybe this time, let's go get some more power. And now I'm able to go ahead and uh, smash this out, I think. If it works, which it might not actually. Uh, should I resist? Let's go resist. This one sh oh, damn it. Oh. Guess that's the luck of the draw. We can't resist it. We need to accept that, unfortunately. That is our outcome and the last turn. So. There's nothing really that I'm able to do. Um. What I'm going to do is actually just to make sure that we do succeed. Well, actually, the, the only thing that I really can do is get data. Damn it. All right. This better work out for us. No. No. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing I can do about that, alright. What a fail. Guess that's, that's space thrice for you. Looks like we've lost it into the aether of space forever. Ooh, our support actually goes down. But we do get a nice little science bonus, so not the end of the world. Uh, we don't have any bonus active missions actually at the moment, so let's go with uh, Lunar Orbit. Something that we do need to go for. Um, we've got a lot of money, so it's not really going to be too much of an issue. So let's go with the Pioneer. Build that payload. No request missions here, unfortunately, from the moon, but let's go back to Earth and check out what we've got. We've got a solar wind monitoring mission so i guess that's what we're going to be stuck with for now so let's go with that because i mean i don't really have much of a choice um but what i would not mind doing is actually just checking out are we able to research like different payloads like so this is only available for the moon i think the pioneer right Costs a lot more to make. Interesting. So, should not be able to build a pioneer just for Earth for this mission. How do we? Doesn't seem like I'm able to change it. So, looks like we're stuck with the Ezra. Thought we might be able to change that though. That is a bit unfortunate. Um, yeah. Would be nice to actually change that. Yeah, I'm surprised you can't change the payloads. I'm sure there must be some way. Let's have a look what this stuff is, though. I haven't really checked out what this is. Space Systems Expertise. So that's one we've unlocked, I think, a little bit more. So four. We've unlocked four out of ten. This is going to be five. Because a test launch is not the first error of space flight. It's just a um, bunch, of, bunch of guys on Earth just playing diddums. Alright. So, let's just go with this. And I've got no real option really here. I mean, I might as well just go with the increased power. But then again, I don't think this mission really takes too much, though, does it? So, I'll settle for that. And let's get into the next event. Animal in Space Research Complete. NASA has completed the Animal in Space, which is no good. The Japanese are launching, as well as the Commies. We can't have them beat us, though. 
So it's looking sketchy. Let's get into the research though. And uh, what should we get? The payload for the Eden, right? And then we can focus on some other things that I don't think we probably really need. And I don't even know what the uh, spacecraft assembly facility is for. Oh, it increases the payload reliability. That'll be probably pretty important. So maybe let's go build that actually first. And let's head over into the next month, which is going to be eventful. With a budget review. Damn, it's not good enough for even a little bit more money. But we're still getting substantial amounts of funds. And we've managed to build the Lunar Orbit Payload, the Pioneer. It's got really good payload reliability, that's for sure. Alright, we've also built that. Alright. So, let's select the vehicle, sorry. Let's go with the Lunar Orbit first. And let's have a look what we've got over here. We want to go to space, right? So, I need to make this good. Uh, the payload's only 35 kilos. Why can't we go with this, though? Why am I going with the upper stage first? I need to go with the booster. So I think maybe I should just stick with the uh, basic one, right? And then the upper stage... It's too big for the booster though. That's the issue. Righto. And unfortunately, like these smaller ones, they don't get up to the moon. Apart from this one does. But it is also too heavy for the booster, so... Let's go back, back to the booster. Go with this. I mean, it is really well and truly overkill though, isn't it? But it is what it is. And the Jupiter here as well. That's your Jupiter, right? It is. Alright. Jesus is such overkill. $230,000, 6 month build time. Let's go for it. Seems like a massive waste. Japan has failed the lunar orbit, which is good. So, apart from the Russians, we might actually be first. Um, so I've got that spacecraft assembly built. Let's go with... Jeez, what should we go with? The Atlas, jeez. The Atlas needs a medium launch pad though. So these guys need bigger launch pads. Let's have a look. Moon, moon. Let's get the Scout, which I guess is more focused on Earth orbit. Should be cheaper as well, right? 50,000 build costs. Yeah, it's considerably cheaper. So I'll take that. Check out the active mission. Um, these guys just need something basic, right? There we go. Something like so. Let's confirm that. 100 grand. We're chewing through the money. But I mean, we're still getting quite a bit every turn. And now we're able to also build the spacecraft assembly facility. Which increases, well, it enables us to get a increase in payload reliability. Which actually, that seems like the perfect place to build it. So let's get over into the next event. Scout research complete. Beautiful. Um, so let's maybe focus on something here. Minus 20% payload build cost. That could be useful. Oh, we can get some astronauts. But I don't think I need astronauts just yet. focus on uh, maybe humans in space though actually no I need to get the Eden first <laughs> that would make sense 
I think I mentioned that and that we were trying to get Eden, but somehow got distracted. Um, so let's just check out our two missions. We've got the Lunar Orbit in five months and the Resplendent with Solar Wind Monitoring in two. Let's get over into the next event. Oh, payload component issue. The engineers have discovered a ma manufacturing error in a key component of the Pioneer payload for your upcoming lunar orbit mission. They estimate 10% reduction to payload reliability, which is currently 85%, unless you commit funds to replacing the part. You know what? Because it reduces a 10% reduction, so it doesn't that just, just reduces from 85 down to 75, so I'll go leave the component, whatever. I'm not going to waste 100 grand on that. Please. Here we go. Let's go with uh, launch preparations. And now we're able to get the payload reliability training. So instead of launch reliability, it's payload reliability. So that looks like it helps us out quite a bit, actually. But, uh, we don't have much launch reliability. So, I guess I can only really settle. Let's go for... Well, we need to get it up into space, right? Jeez. Let's go with June. Tough crowd, right? Confirm that mission. Alright, so, everything's happening with the lunar orbits. Um, when's our next lunar orbit? I think in a couple months. Well, we haven't actually planned it. The Stargazer is going to be complete soon. Let's get a crack on in with... Um, oh, should we go human? Yeah, it is. Let's go with humans in space. Alright. So it's a sub a sub optimal date, which is not too bad. Still 52% chance of uh, success. I'm hoping for a uh, nice sunny day. Seems well, it's not sunny, but it is nighttime and it is clear. That should help us. Indeed, it does. All right. So let's have a look at what ends up happening. Kind of over these little cutscenes now. Oh, beautiful. And now we've got um, much better payload reliability too, which means that this should be much easier now. Should give us a couple of extra bonuses too. So let's have a look. Um, two and four. Got four turns. We've got a bit of extra power, I guess. Yeah, but I guess the chance for success is much higher at 77%. All right, so let's get one power, one extra power as well, because I'll need it. Oh god, what a fail! I'll resist. There we go. Let's get. One of these, and let's get actually some more power too. Beautiful. That works very, very well. So now we've got three data. Okay, that makes life easier. So now we've got, let's have a look. Three data, but we need four. So let's go with one here. And one here. Alright, hopefully both of these are successes. Unfortunately, they are not. Let's go resist. Okay, that's looking good. So all I need is one more comms, and that's it. And we have succeeded. So let's get power, and then this better work. Then again, we've succeeded no matter what, but 
If this works in our favor, which it should, because we've got pretty good payload reliability, indeed we do. That was a great success, that one. Very nice. Get some nice little bonuses too, which I'm not going to complain about at all. Alright, so... We've got the Stargazer complete in a month. Research is still ongoing. Active missions. We do have an extra slot, so let's have a look. Um, let's focus on the animal in space, I guess. Clean that mission. Select that payload. Build the payload. There are. A local power outage during the construction of the Edian payload for your upcoming animal in space mission, which I think we just started, has resulted in minor jet damage to one of its components. 5% um, reduction in payload reliability, which is 70%. Oh man. Let's leave it, because it's only 5%. Don't think it's worth it. As hopefully we don't eat our words. Alright, so for lunar orbit, this is going to be quite big. Um, let's get... Let's get base launch reliability. Because this is going to be quite big. And launch. I'm going to have to launch in August, I think. It's going to be tough. But let's have a look. So the Chinese are doing it in three turns. Hmm. Oh, sorry. The Soviets are doing it. <laughs> They're so similar to the flags, right? Um, so the Soviets are doing it in three turns. And the Americans are doing it in five. Oh, man, it's going to be so good if I do it in December. I'm really hoping the, the Soviets fail. Maybe I should just wait it out, right? This is a really tough decision. Because this is a minus 20% boost, which is a real shame. And this gives us the max boost as well for this total bonus. So I think I'm going to have to settle for December, unfortunately. Let's just confirm that. It's just the way it is. And uh, we're focusing on the Animal in Space mission as well. Which we're just building that payload. Alright. Animals in Space research has been completed. And we also finished this Eden payload. So, minus 50% boost of build time. But the build cost is increased. Okay, so with this guy, let's have a look. Let's focus on something smaller. Scout and then... Seems like that's quite overkill. But I haven't really researched all of this kind of stuff. It's a lot of money, but I kind of want that success, right? So, so let's select that part, confirm, build, two months to build that, and it's going to take a little while. China's, I think that was China, launching something or other very soon. Uh, let's go with the humans in space Mercury payload, and I'm probably going to have to get astronaut training as well, which I'm assuming unlocks something completely brand new for us. Which is astronauts. Uh, so let's get over to here. Still a little bit of time until we can really do anything of note here. Still making good money. Um, the Americans, okay, the Americans are the first with the animals in space, but I don't really mind that. I want to check this out though. Yeah, so the Soviets, let's hope they fail. Alright. 
let's head over into the next month because we do have an event coming up here this uh, monstrosity that we've built uh, the booster stage seems to be quite overkill for it but I'll take it uh, let's have a look at the base launch reliability all right I'll take the launch I like a base launch, at least the launch reliability training more than the payload reliability because, I mean, with payload reliability, I feel like it's kind of like a mental game as well. Like, if you're smart, you can kind of weave around this low reliability, whereas the launch reliability is just a game of potluck. And let's launch in January. That should give us a good chance of success. Trying to complete animals in space, unfortunately for us. Let's go to the next event. Oh, Soviet Union achieves moon orbit. There you go. The newspapers are dominated by the recent success of Soviet Union's lunar orbit mission. Your agency has been approached for comment. Let's praise their achievement. Damn it, we lost a bit of support, which is a shame. But here we can see the Russians. We're going to be right on their tails, though. I think the Americans are right with us as well. All right. So uh, have a look at this. This is where it's going to get a little bit more serious now. Rockets are looking a little bit different. The Stargazer. Even though it's raining, I'm going to launch. And the odds were looking very good. Go, you good thing. Got it. Very nice. Perfect launch. Oh, maybe not so perfect. Minus one command on first turn of your first task. Damn it. That's alright, it's not going to be too bad. Alright. Oh, we got navigation now instead of comms. All right, so I guess maybe it gets harder now. Jeez, look at that uh, bonus reward mission though. So let's go with. Um. Okay, so we also have this stuff here. Okay, two power. Okay. This should work out well. Here we go. I'll take that. I don't really have much of a choice. So if this works out, yeah, this works out, we're all good. We're home and hoes, as I say. So we've already completed the objective, but of course we are going to get rather greedy. And geez, now we've got three turns as well, which is great. So let's recharge two power. And let's use power here. Perfect. I think that's going to be it, right? Five, actually, no, we need one more data. But, uh, we've done very very well uh, so how do we get more data I guess let's do that hopefully this turn will be more than enough and it seems like it is geez that was easy I imagine on harder difficulty levels it's a little bit more challenging but uh, we've done quite well we've smashed it well and truly Oh, although this is different. Oh, okay. So this is a multi-stage mission. Ah, okay. 
Jeez, and now there's a lot more stuff. Okay, so maybe it's, maybe I did speak a little bit too soon. So we need to get... Let's have a look. It's going to be tough. Let's use a little bit of electricity here. Well, quite a bit of electricity, really. Sorry, you can speed this up. Not really. So we should have six by the end of the turn. Data, that is. Very nice. Alright, so that works out perfectly for us. So, let's have a look. We need to get one more data, but we need to get um, a lot more comms. So let's get, uh, let's have a think. That should be enough. So I got the navigation because we can change the navigation. We can change the navigation and get both data and comms. Here. And it gives us two comms as well, so that's going to be quite handy. Oh, beautiful. That worked out well for us. That worked out very well for us. We actually might get the 50% bonus reward right... Well, not right now, but next turn for sure. Although, power's going to be an issue, isn't it? Indeed it is. Alright, so last turn. Got two... Okay. Uh, what else can I do? I've got so much data. So let's use data for something. Let's use data for that, right? If this works out, this is going to be great. It's going to be the bee's knees. And it seems like that worked out so well for us, we've already won. Unless a spaceship blows up. Oh, actually, you don't even need to do all the missions as long as you hit the requirements. Which is great. Beautiful. Got a second at full lunar orbit. It looks like the Americans failed. Maybe we only just beat them. Pipped into the post. Because we've now finished three of these milestone missions... They've also given us a minus 25% boost. There's a lot of things happening. Lunar orbit's happening. Um, seems like we've won or come second in the lunar orbit. December 1960, October. Jeez. Two months difference. Tragic. Americans are only just about to launch, I think. So that's exciting that we've done that. But now we need to focus on Earth. Get our focus on to here. Get some satellite imaging going on. Let's have a look at some of these bonus missions. But I think that's going to be it for the third episode of Mars Horizon. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I very much am. And I will see you guys hopefully very soon. See how the channel is going. Be a nice little comeback. But I'll see you guys shortly.